Welcome to Applied Food Science and Engineering with Prop Vigent. Let's talk about what a refrigerator is good for besides holding on to all of my pictures and magnets. We typically stick food in the fridge if we want it to last for longer. So how does that work? The molecules in food may degrade due to reactions such as oxidation, and all reactions tend to go faster as the temperature goes up. The rules are slightly different for enzymes, which are the proteins that may cause fruits and vegetables that you have stored in the fridge to degrade on their own. In this case, the rate does go up with temperature up to a point where you start cooking the enzymes and denaturing them. The biggest worry in food spoilage is, of course, microbes. That's because, unlike degradation due to chemical reaction or enzymes, microbes sometimes can make us sick or even dead if they spoil food. Microbes, like enzymes, have an optimal temperature range for growth and existence. And this makes sense because they're made of enzymes. That's between 40 and 140F. We use this temperature because it's below the optimal growth range for microbes. So that's what refrigeration does. It slows microbial growth and slows reactions. Keyword here is slows, doesn't stop it. So eventually it will still go bad. And of course, holding all your magnets and pictures. Thanks for watching.